Hillcrest Road in Los Angeles. At the end of this road is a house that was once owned by Elvis Presley. Elvis spent a lot of time in Los Angeles when he was making movies in Hollywood. He would split his time 50-50 between Los Angeles and Graceland. His house on this street is probably the most significant Elvis location in Los Angeles. There's a very famous person living here. There's a clue on the gate as to who it is. See the stars? It's Ringo Starr's house. Ringo Starr of the Beatles. He's lived here since 1990. Whatever this structure is, it's uh, close to collapse, as you can see. I don't know what it is. Is it just the entrance to the house? I'm not sure. There's a door there. On there. Anyway. It's a bit of a climb to get up to the house. The road snakes round and... Yeah, and it's up there somewhere, and well, that's where Elvis's house is. This next house used to have a famous resident. Groucho Marx lived in this house from 1940 until 1949. Very stylish entrance to this house. Okay, I think the worst of the hill is done with now. I think it levels out just around this corner. It's probably about a kilometre, I think, from the start of the street up to here. Now the Elvis house came close to being demolished in 2012 but there was a public outcry and for the time being it's been saved but who knows what will happen in the future and the guy who bought the house and was planning to demolish it was actually the owner of the Hard Rock Cafe Getting close to the house now. The address is 1174 North Hillcrest Road. Elvis bought the house for $400,000 in 1967. And he lived here until 1973. And he lived here with Priscilla and Lisa Marie until 1973. And what's cool about it is there's a lot of photos of Elvis outside the gate here. Okay, here's the house. The family portrait was taken here. And the house is 5,400 square feet with a swimming pool on the other side. And Elvis used to talk to his fans here by the gate. So there's, there's a lot of photographs of him standing here. Uh, I think there's a photo of him arriving on his bike here as well. After the Tate La Bianca murders in 1969, metal sheets were placed behind this gate for security reasons. There's a side gate here. As you can see, there's a metal sheet behind this. That's probably there from 1969. You see, people have been leaving messages here. He's carved into the brick there. I love you.
Elvis had actually wanted to buy the house at the end of the street, which has since been demolished, and uh, there's a new house being built there now. Hence the sound. This was actually the first house that Lisa Marie lived in. And this is the original gate. You can tell from the photographs. I think there's a photo of Elvis with a fat talking to a fan here and he's doing some karate moves. The exterior of the house is exactly as it was when Elvis lived here. These um, brick patterns here are exactly as they were. The garage over there. You can't see it from this angle, but the main door is over there and it's quite spectacular. I'll just go around the side, see if it's possible to get a shot of that. Bit cheeky of me, but I managed to scramble up the embankments to get a shot of the door. Okay, guys, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe if you if you haven't done so. And if you really like the video, there's a super thanks option. If you want to give me a donation for to help with travel expenses, all donations gratefully received. I am thinking of starting a channel membership. I'm filming this in 2023, so if you're watching it after that date, I might already have started the channel membership. Please. Just tell me what's on your mind Cause I don't have time to figure it out Figure it out We haven't been our best for long I think that we're just holding on to something Maybe we should walk away Just say goodbye and go a separate ways I can feel it deep inside We will never work this out We will never work this out I can feel it deep inside We will never work this out Never work the 